graphs for graphic display calculator. 2. Graph functions. Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to show how to use graph functions using Casio FX CZ50. Switch on your calculator pressing AC button. Press the menu button to open the main menu. Then move the cursor or press 5 to select the graph menu. First, we will draw a tangent to a graph. Check that the graph function shows y equals, then enter the equation y equals 2 over 3 bracket x cubed minus 4x in y1. In order to enter x cubed, we press x followed by the circumflex key, also known as a caret symbol or hat symbol. To draw this graph, press F6. We have drawn a cubic graph, and now we will draw a tangent. Press Shift, then F4, Sketch, followed by F2 to select tangent. The tangent is drawn. The calculator can also work out the gradient at the point. For this, press Shift, Menu, and switch on the derivative. Exit the setup and draw the graph again. Press Shift, F4, then F2. This time, we have dy by dx on the same screen. The tangent line can be moved along with the original function by moving the cursor. In addition, we can draw a tangent at the specific point when x coordinate is given. Let's draw a tangent when x is at 2. We only need to enter 2 and execute in our calculator. The tangent is drawn at x equals 2. Next, we are setting a domain. We will use the same function for this. Go back to the graph function screen and highlight y1. We are setting the domain as x is between minus 2 and 2 as an example for this. Move the cursor at the end of the equation, then put a comma. After the comma, press a square bracket, minus 2, comma, 2, close the bracket. We need to use the bracket minus negative key for the negative 2, not the subtract key. Press F6. Now we have drawn a graph with the domain. Next example, we will draw the derivative function of y1. Press exit to go back to the graph function screen. Display the option command menu by pressing the option key. Then press F2 to open the calculation command. Enter F1 to select d by dx. Then press F1, 1, to choose the function y1. y1 is the equation we are differentiating here. Press execute to confirm. We are not able to set the domain of the original function y1 if this function is used as a substitute in y2. Therefore, in this case, we will need to delete the domain of y1. We delete the domain by highlighting y1, move the cursor at the end of the equation and delete. Press F6 to draw both y1 and y2 graphs. Two graphs are displayed. Lastly, we are drawing graphs with inequalities. Go back to the graph function screen by pressing exit. 
highlight the Y1 function. Press F3 to display the graph type command. Entering F5 allows us to change graph type. For this example, we choose to change y is smaller than or equals to instead of y equal. This can be done by pressing F5. We also change to the same inequality with equation y2. Press F6 to draw the graphs. The areas have been colored in blue and red to satisfy both inequalities. In this example, union areas have been highlighted, but we can change this into intersection areas. To do this, press Shift, Menu, and change inequality type to intersection. We finish setting up by pressing Exit and enter F6 to draw. Now we have the intersection area highlighted. In this video, we have shown how to use graph functions, graphic display calculator, as easy as pie.